So I've got two utility irons in my hands we're going to test in this particular video. These have really caught my eyes, two different brands, but they look really good and stunning from behind. And funny enough, they look very, very similar, which is probably why I've been drawn to both of these uh, utility irons, both from the back and also in that plain position. We're going to hit both of these, we're going to test them obviously provide you with some numbers and my personal feedback on these two clubs. Okay, so two utility irons, we've got one from Cobra, so the new tech utility, and also from Shrixen, so the Z X and it's the Mark II version. As I say, both really caught my eye and both look absolutely stunning from behind. In the past, I've played with the Shrixen Utility going back a number of years. I think it was called the U85, if I can remember, memory cast me back. Absolutely love that club. Very, very easy to hit. This new Shrixen one is sort of coming back a little bit into that look, but not quite as big at the back, but looks absolutely stunning. We know Shrixen makes some great products and good looking products as well. Cobra, on the other hand, maybe not always the best on the look side of things, maybe in these utility irons, but again, this one did catch my eye. Very similar look to the Shrixen, and it looks superb behind that golf ball. So we're going to test both. We're going to kick things off with the Cobra. So obviously we'll run you through a bit of tech of these clubs as well. So the Cobra King Tech Utility, as they call it. We've got that little screw, uh, tungsten screw at the end there. We've got that power shell sort of face in terms of getting sort of that ball speed, hot face. We've got technology. And obviously the, both of these clubs are hollow constructions as we see in a lot of these utility, utility irons. But first impressions down with the ball, as I say, this is one thing that really caught my eye. It sits incredibly well, beautiful shape. Obviously we've got a thickish top line, which you're gonna see a lot in utility irons. We do see that back edge of the uh, club just sort of protruding out from that top edge, but it's not something that really draws your eye. It's quite a subtle uh, position there. So it's not too sort of bulky in a way, if that makes sense down by the ball. Does look great, sits superb. Okay, so nice little uh, opening shot there, nice and straight. And that's the good thing you probably find with these utility irons, a little bit maybe more accuracy of that iron type of construction. So should be hitting these in around that sort of carry around that sort of 220, 225 area. Now, both of these are three iron utilities, but this one in the Cobra is a 19 degrees of loft. The Shrixons are 20, so there is just a one degree difference. Well, I just pulled up the left hand side, but I struck that one really nicely. Great sound to that, really good feel off that club face. A couple of post comments down below, any thoughts? If you've got a utility iron in the bag, maybe put the reasons as into why. Maybe you're not a hybrid lover, prefer the sort of iron appearance, but want that forgiveness that typically this utility iron will offer. So as we mentioned, you've got the PowerShell technology that Cobra offered in, in other irons as well, which is gonna help with a little bit of that sort of consistency of launch and spin. We've got hot face technology, which is that AI technology sort of working into sort of sweet spots around the actual sweet spot itself, so increasing ball speed on your miss hits essentially. And then we've got a very lightweight soft foam that fills this hollow head, which will help with dampening a little bit of sound, improving a little bit of feel. That's a nice shot. Yeah, it's good pleasant sound to that. Sometimes hollow construction irons get a little bit of a clicky sort of sound. There is an element of that, but I think definitely dampened with that little bit of foam in there. Yeah, that's a super shot. Good strike there. See that maxing out 232 carry. So good option really use utility irons. Maybe using these off the tee, you know, that tight par four, crucial to hit that sort of fairway, maybe to put you into position. Typically a good option. Maybe, as I say, if you're not a hybrid lover, want to maybe just get that flight down a little bit more penetrating than what a hybrid would sort of uh, promote then again, these are good options. Oh, again, that's a good strike. Yeah, nice sort of ball flight on that. So also what's inside this head is 61 grams of tungsten, which is positioned very low and forward in that club face. So giving you a real good solid contact, obviously controlling that center of gravity to optimize that ball speed and that launch. Availability wise on these are a two iron all the way through to a five utility. So depending where you want to switch out that long iron, replace these in that uh, area of the golf bag, you've got a few more options there, two right the way through to five. Oh, that's a really good one to finish on. Yeah, very impressive that. Looks fantastic. Love the back of that. Love the playing position of that. The feel off the club face is good. The flight looks very good as well. And the numbers are pretty good to back that up with. Okay, let's switch over. Let's jump into the Shrixen. Okay, so I've just noticed on the screen there, actually, I've got these marked as two irons on the uh, data numbers, but they are actually both three irons. So do ignore that two iron on there. So moving into the Shrixen ZX Mark II. First of all, looks impressive looks absolutely stunning bit of that chrome on the back 
looks very sleek, very stylish, which we always know as a, as a Shrix and they tend to deliver that as a terms of a look. Playing position, it's wow. That to me just looks stunning. Little bit of offset, mediumish top line to slightly thick as again as you expect. We do again see some of that back X just exposed from that leading edge, but again, it doesn't catch your eyes. So very similar to what we see with the Cobra. We'll just pop these two side by side. Let's just see what the subtle differences there are, if anything. I think blade length looks relatively the same there. Top edge looks pretty identical. It's a very, very similar shaping of the club. Maybe a touch more offset with the Cobra fractionally. A little bit more polished with the Shrixen. Very, very similar. So again, this is a three iron, but this is a 20 degree. So we have got one degree more loft with this in comparison to that Cobra. Ooh, right, that's a little bit of a low Healy one to kick things off, but that's flown very straight. Be interesting to see drop offs there now. Yeah, so 215 has dropped a little bit there in comparison. We have obviously got that one degree of loft just to take into account there as well. That wasn't the greatest of strikes, but again, it's one of those shots where you would take that on the golf course for a miss hit. Oh, that was nice. That was a better one. A little bit higher on that flight there because of the strike. Again, feel-wise, superb. Good sound. Very similar feel and sound to the Cobra. Yeah, so a better strike there. You see carries back up and around that 230, which is good. So technology happening in the ZX from Shrix, and we've got that mainframe technology, which was seen through the irons and also into this utility. So it's a different variable sort of thicknesses in the face, channels sort of grooves in and around the back of the face. We don't see this, but it's all happening at the back, which is creating flexes in different parts of the, uh, of the club face itself. So obviously when you're miss hitting, there's probably a little bit more flex there just to try and maintain some speed so there's not a bigger drop off. That's probably a good little example of that. There's a little bit of low in the toe on that strike. Touch up the left. Interesting to see there. Ball speed looks pretty good. It's only dropped to maybe two mile an hour in comparison to that really good strike at that last shot and only about six yards short on that carry. So not a bad drop off there. So what we noticed in the Shrix and Irons is that famous V-sole that they've done for numerous years now. Now they don't actually do a V-sole in this utility, but they do what they call like a couple little notches taken out. You can probably notice it where the number three is and the 20 degrees are notch taken out there. And same in the heel side there. So a little bit less surface uh, area in terms of contact with the ground. So maybe you could be using this obviously as your second shots off that fairway into long holes, par five potentially. Um, so with that obviously thicker sole, you're typically gonna get on a utility and just creating less surface uh, contact with that turf, just helping that interaction a little bit. And then we've got a forged face on a 1020 carbon steel body. So it's just helping a little bit with that feel. And that feel is good. Gotta say that is, feels superb. It brings back a lot of memories for me, as I mentioned that maybe that U85 model era. It was such an easier club to hit. I used to be able to hit that low, higher cuts, fake draws. The, it's probably when I was a bit younger, to be fair. <laughs> probably play those shots more than I can now, but it just felt very versatile in what I could do with it. That's an absolute belter. A nice high ball flight. High, but going forward, not, not high as in floating and weak. It's just a little bit more launch on that particular one. 228 carry, absolute split in that fairway. Excellent there. So availability wise in the Shrixen comes in a two, a three and a four. So there's no five in the Shrixen. We see that five offering with Cobra in the tech utility, but only a two to a four in the Shrixen. Okay, so let's check the uh, dispersion rings to start with. So the orange being the uh, Shrixen, the white being the Cobra. So we know it's that one degree stronger loft with the Cobra. So we're going to expect that probably that hint more distance with that, which we're sort of seeing there a little bit, aren't we? With the whites against those orange. Just that little drop off on that particular one, the Shrixen there, but you know, probably quite a typical one in reference to the loft differences. And then we look at the numbers to so see club head speed pretty identical at that 99 mark. Ball speed just again a little bit more with that Cobra. Again, one degree stronger is going to play a little bit of a count of that. Uh, launch very similar. Spin touch low with the Cobra. See a little bit more with the Shrixen. Uh, and carry wise just edging it obviously a little bit of the Cobra there. 231 against 224. Obviously this is more around the gap in, in terms of what you've then got as your other longest iron in the bag. So as you drop out of your normal iron set, into a utility, it's important to get the right loft, to get the right gap in, to sort of fill the area in that area of the bag. Right, so for me, two cracking looking utility irons. Both feel very, very good. Both perform excellent there. Push comments down below, let me know your thoughts on those two clubs. Appreciate you watching the video as always. If you haven't subscribed and you're watching the videos, make sure you just hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate the support and hopefully catch up with you all very soon.